Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hussein. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to be here. trying to relay some messages about tens of forgotten stories about human rights defenders. And as you look to the screen, you will see four of my <coughs> best friends, at least through three of them, has taught me how to be a human rights defender. When I started defending the political detainees, Asengi has told me that you should be a defender and you should use all the cases which has different story of atrocities and human rights violations, especially the use of torture as a systematic evidence in the cases against detainees in Bahrain. But I have asked them and ask the others, look at the situation of the human rights defenders. For decades, Bahrain prisons never, never uh, lose one of the defenders. It is always we have one within the 10 years, within the 20 years back, one or more of the human rights defenders either spending jail because of his work as a human rights defender by a fabricated case or criminalizing even his work as a human rights defender. And like criminalizing getting fund for his activities or even criminalizing his reports about the violation. And as you know, I was jailed in 2011 in a connection of a speech given in the Bira roundabout where I have asked to release the political detainees. They were released within three days. I was detained with them and put in the same military jail for 114 years. 114 days, sorry. For, for a long time, I have received messages, some of them from uh, people loyal to the regime, and some of them friends. And still I was remember when I walk uh, with a friend who normally a big supporter for Bahrainis, and maybe most of you know Haytham Manna. I've asked him once, Haytham, what do you think if I have accepted an offer to be an MB in Bahrain parliament? I told him I don't like anybody of the human rights defenders to turn to a politician. And we need as much defender as we can to continue. And we, we need you to uh, enlarge your work in a way that you gain more and more experience. I was not thinking to get a, to be a, a parliament member at that time, but I was thinking about get any kind. I should be immune because him, because they think that he is in a hunger strike, but they can't understand that he can't eat. We suffered a lot, and all kind of 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 torture which you hear all over the, the years about Bahrain. There is not enough time to go through them, but why they have, why they have harassed me, harassed me, why this awful reprisal against me? This is me in, in my jail. In, this is my son holding my, my photo while I'm jailed. During this time, it is not enough for them that they put me in jail. A few years before the revolution in Bahrain, I found out that they have videotaped me with my wife in my beach house, and they sent me the CD, telling me 
please shut down your mouth as clear as it is. Keep silent or this will be in the website. When we come back from, from in, in 2012, when we come back from the UBR session in May, they have sent me a message telling me, Muhammad, you have, if you want this CD to be published, you should, you should be, keep silent and not attend this, this uh, seminar, which we were holding above the UBR. The other day, the other day, I found this website, which is Kingdom of Bahrain Forum, which is managed by the Kingdom Court and totally funded by them, putting all these photos about me and my wife. We are taking breakfast here, but of course there are other photos which I can't see. There were a lot of reprisal against me. This is not enough. I will go back to what, what Bassouni reported. Because the, because the CD was with them early since uh, January 2011. But they haven't used it, trying to silence me until the UBR finished and they have decided to go ahead. This is a, as a documentation in the Bassouni report, in the Biki report, stating that they know that, they, that, that a surveillance camera has been kept in my beach house and videotaped me with my wife. This is not enough. Even though I continue my work, you, sh you should see a lot of photos like this, not only me, even about my wife, even about lawyer in my firm who've been continuously harassed and summoned and charged again in connection of inciting the Hitler to the regime or uh, uh, destroying the reputation of the regime if they will report about torture, about unfair trial. Again and again, the stories are so complicated. The stories is, are so uh, uh, common between me and the others. But again, as Mohammed al-Masqati, I have a lot of bending cases. And this is one summon which was sent to me and sent for Sheikh Maytham al-Salman because we announced that we are going to launch the, 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 the violation which was committed during Ashura 2000. Yes. Just because we, we want to speak, they have summoned us and I was kept in, in, in in, in Manama police station for three hours, for three hours, just to keep me away from that conference. A conference, a press conference, to speak about violation can be banalized in Bahrain. I should, I should stop now because I have an order. Thank you very much. But believe me, the stories of Bahrainis, the stories of Bahrainis are, you will find them all over the world. Now we are, a couple of us are here, some of us are living in Bahrain, but you will find some living in London, some living in USA, some living in, in Beirut, and most of them, Hussein has his, his citizenship revoked, most of them are charged, like, where is the photographer, Musa Abd Ari is charged, and most of them has a warrant from the international Interpol because in a connection of terror, uh, cases fabricated in Bahrain. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for this. Uh, 